You're watching Greater Brockton. Mark Lindy, your host, and it is that time of year again. Spring is in the air after all the wonderful weather we've had, and we have a great group, Soaring Without Limits, Hailing Through the Arts, and a good friend, Phil Hussar, is here to talk Mark, about it. Thank nice you for to see inviting you. me. Yeah. Um, Phil's been involved in all of this artistic work, poetry, arts, a little bit of everything over the, as long as I've known him. And over at our wonderful, magnificent Brockton Public Library Absolutely. during the month of April, there's going to be an exhibit and a reception. Correct. I attended last year. It was outstanding. Um, and what you're going to see is artistry of people with disabilities paired with both poetry and song. And song. This year we're going to have a uh, song. Molly Preston, composer from Brockton, is composing some of the art in Tucson. Mm -hmm. So we're going to have some of that, and as you know, um, what we do is we take poets with disabilities, um, artists with disabilities, yeah. and pair them up with poets from our community. Uh, we have academic poets from Suffolk University, Brandeis. We have our community poets. We also have our um, scholastic poets from Massasoit, Brockton High are going to be involved also. And the poets and the artists get to meet on right. that day. For, for the, the first, first time. time. They have never met. What we do is we photograph the art and put it on the website and then we contact the poets that they go to the website and pick out a piece of art that inspires them and writes about the art, not the disability, they mm -hmm. write about the art. We have a piece of art which is going to be the cover of the booklet. This, well, we have Brockton High um, collaborating with us and they do the booklet um, for the day and this will have all the poems and the art in it. This was the cover last year and this will be the cover for this year's booklet. Very nice. Now, the website you mentioned is Soar Without Limits, correct? Right, and you can go to the Brockton Library, and they'll have information for it also. The reception will take place um, April 7th, Saturday. Mm -hmm. um, 12 to 2 will be the viewing. Everybody can come in, and we'll have all the art, and the poet poem will be next to the art, and they do the viewing. And then at 2 o'clock, we will begin the um, presentation of the poetry, where all the poets will get up and read the poems, and we'll have also be introducing the artists. And that is upstairs in the Driscoll Gallery. In the Driscoll Gallery. And I worked with Joe Driscoll. You probably didn't know that. When no, I was a I library didn't. page back in the day, a long, long time ago, Joe was alive. It, mm -hmm. Obviously, we didn't call it the Joe Driscoll Art Gallery at that point. But um, a lot of good people at the library over the years and different portions of the building are named for them out of, out of respect for their volunteer work or if they wrote us a check. Right, we built absolutely. The library and redid the library. So it's the, 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 the exhibit's going to be there the entire month of April from the 2nd to the 30th. To the 30th. But April 7th is going to be the day. That's the special day. That's, as I said, that's when poets and artists will meet for the first time. And it really gets very emotional. I, I was there. I witnessed it. I, I was riveted. I was there the entire time. We, we recorded it, but would rather have people go. Oh, absolutely. I mean, we'll still record. Absolutely. And we'll do a segment. We're helping to promote it. But we want you to go because we want to see, um, we want to feel the poetry, see the art, and mm -hmm. now hear the song. Absolutely. And um, Paul... The director of the library, Paul Engel, will be there. He was a huge help in uh, putting this together. And David Halloon from uh, Brockton High, who is the teacher for the graphics department, who's putting the booklet together. Um, his students will also be there for that for this occasion. Nice. So we'll have everybody. We'll have everybody there. Graphic arts is alive and well. I can attest to that. Yep. Also over at Southeastern Regional where we have graphic arts. Mm -hmm. uh, Brockton High, Southeastern Regional, two good schools. So let me see if I can pull this off. I'm not going to go too far, um, but I'm going to pull this one off, and we have it kind of there we go. jury rigged over here. I'm going to give you this one. Yeah. And um, I don't know, sometimes lights and frames, we have glare, so I'm going to hold this up a little bit. This is another work. This is another piece of um, work. Uh, this 
piece of um, art is from um, a person from the Brain Injury Association. And of course, each piece of art you see, a poem has been written for, for this piece of art. And on that piece of art, it says, Hope, Faith, and Family. So I'm going to take that one down, and I'm mm -hmm. trying to be really careful with these and not hurt any of the art. And we'll put up another picture, and I have it upside down, so we'll flip it. Um, and this, talk about this piece, Phil. This piece is from um, a, per, a client from uh, Bamsey. Okay. And they have art classes, and this is one of the um, art that was submitted. Also, a poem um, was written for this piece, specifically for the piece. Okay. And um, we're not going to tell you. You nope. got to go. You have to you come have and to read go. the piece. Okay. And I have one more here. It was nice that you brought props. It's always a good yep. thing. Um, and this also is from the Brain Injury Association. Uh, this lady, this, um, her name is Karen Page Dash. She's an amazing artist. These are, this is one of the small pieces. We have two or three pieces um, she submitted, and two of them are quite large. So you'll get a good... And we have the space over there, so the I'm space. looking forward to seeing... All of it. I'm going to leave that one there, and I, I managed to get them all up there without dropping anything. That's a good thing. So, um, Phil, just talk a little bit about what inspired you to do this and to coordinate this with all these different groups. I was doing workshops for the Brain Injury Association, um, expressive healing workshops, and I was in their main office, and they had the art um, on their walls, and it got me to thinking why we should be showing this art off. Mm -hmm. And my community of poets are amazing. Um, they write, you know, in the poetry that they write. So I contacted my community of poets and told them the idea of writing a poem for the art and they, they, clicked. All, they clicked. So then we went to the Brockton Library and Director Paul Engel, who was doing a fabulous job, was all for it. And so this is the third year. It's been held um, for every month of April, which is Poetry Month. Okay. And um, March, which is the Brain um, Injury Month. So we kind of put them together, and we've come up with this exhibit. And hopefully it will run for years and years. I'm sure it will. Well, thanks for doing what you're doing. They gave me the cue. So just to recap everything and to find, I have lots of pieces of paper here right now. I'm making sure I'm getting the right one. It's underneath the stuff that I did from earlier today. It's, you know what, it's underneath the art. Okay, I have a minute. So all, all I can do is make sure I don't rip this apart here. Okay, so the date, the exhibit for the whole month of April, April 2nd through 30th, the actual reception is April 7th, which is a Saturday, 12 to two gallery viewing two to four poetry readings, all at the Brockton Public Library. And all free. And all free. Phil, thank you. Thank Always you, a Mark. pleasure. Oh, thank you very much. Um, you're watching Greater Brockton. Mark Lindy, your host. Stay tuned for more events, places, people, and faces right here in the City of Champions.